Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Hustler Crab One, and today I want to go over all the changes that happened to exotic weapons with the newest update for Division 2. Now, pretty much all of the exotics had their damage increased besides the Nemesis Sniper Rifle, which really didn't need it. But what also happened is that all of the exotic weapon attachments actually got buffs added to them. And these attachments were shown on the weapons before as locked and not a and it didn't have any stats or anything. These stats that were added were added on top of the damage. So specifically, someplace you can see this: the pestilence used to not have 605 RPM, but it got a 10% fire rate on the magazine. So these attachments did actually add extra stats on top of all the damage that everything got. So I want to go over all of those and then kind of go over if these weapons are useful now as main weapons um i don't think a lot of these are still going to be useful as really main weapons yet but their attachments definitely do add quite a bit of power to these with the damage increase so first we have merciless um or ruthless if you have the ruthless skin on it um now the damage will change depending on what kind of builds you have this is a 32k for me right now and its scope is 10 percent accuracy its magazine is 15 percent reload speed its grip is 20 percent weapon handling which i don't really know if this thing needed um it did have some kick because of you know just kind of how it shoots but now it's like really really steady um, so I guess that did help and 20 stability extra, um, weapon handling is both stability and accuracy. So a lot of, um, stability and accuracy increases, which does make the gun pretty much like a laser now. Um, even though this is probably one of the weaker weapons to have as a main hand weapon, um, just because it still has that kind of explosive. Maybe if you went full explosive, um, you could get some good damage on this, but it still has the thing where, um, you basically put the explosive round in the, into the target on the first shot. Then when you let go, it blows it up. Um, so you still can do this, which is kind of super slow and not really worth doing, where I could get five on one and then hit it, and it does like a, almost 1.5 million damage. Um, you may be able to make some type of like one-shot build with that for PvE or something where you can actually line that up with explosive damage. But I don't think this is really going to be used as a main weapon. It still has a good holster ability. Um, so landing has a 5% chance to deal 20% extra explosive damage. So if you're going explosive, especially with the um, damage to elites, uh, hard hitting talent getting nerfed, um, explosive may be better with this as a secondary. Um, so next up we have the chatterbox. Also upgrading all the, the exotics, the legendaries, up to 500 is super easy now. Um, at the crap at the crafting station it's pretty cheap and you can just upgrade them all now instead of you know not really having a way to upgrade these um so next we do have the chatter box which did get some pretty good buffs so first its sight is actually five percent critical chance which is pretty good it's 10 percent reload speed um then it has 15 percent weapon handling which i don't know if this thing really needed that because it was pretty laser pointer before then it has 10 percent critical chance on the barrel so 15 percent critical a chance between these two mods and then 14.5 critical a chance as a submachine gun so it gets right off 30 percent critical a chance just by itself um this thing may actually be a pretty decent weapon um it's not gonna really show the most ridiculous damage um at the target range or anything like that just because it you know is an smg and you do have to be much closer but with all of its mods and stuff this thing could definitely be a good weapon especially if you're running um anything that you want good fire rate with um, you know, like clutch or something like that. So it's not going to show, you know, really good damage at the target range. Clearly no SMGs really do, but I could definitely see builds being built around this since it already has the really high critical at chance. Let me see if it, so it, it's showing 36.5. That's actually, did it really switch to my main weapon to show me that stat? It is switching to my main weapon. We have to switch it to check it. But this thing does just have so much critical a chance on it. Baseline. Um, yeah, so it does switch correctly. It's, for me right now, it is 60% critical a chance. It almost doubles my critical a chance. Um, it's 
definitely pretty crazy. So I could definitely see this thing being used as just some ridiculous critical hit chance build and, you know, going all critical chance, critical damage and doing some build like that. I could definitely see this being actually used because it did get the damage increase as well. Um, and going full SMG, this could actually be something that's used as a main hand weapon because it does have the holster talent, which pretty much makes it removed as a talent for using it as a main hand weapon, but it's perks are really good. Um, every shot lands 1% fire rate to a max of 60%. So you're critting all the time. You're getting really high critical hit, um, chance by critic by just crit hitting all the time. Um, then you're getting higher fire rate just from using this weapon. And then because of the weapon, refill 20% of the magazine and grab a buff for 10 seconds with buff axes. Every shot landed, increase the magazine capacity by one to a maximum of 60. Clearing a target consumes a buff to fully refill the increased magazine. Um, so with all these perks together, this could be a main hand weapon, which is pretty cool. This is one of really the only weapon besides this when the sniper came out that could have possibly been used as a main hand weapon if you ran out of ammo. But now with this, I could definitely see it being used because especially with something like clutch, which, you know, restores a ton of health per crit with insanely high crit, like you can get this thing to even, you know, just because it has almost 30% on it, it could definitely be used. So that is a pretty big change that the chatterbox could be used as a main hand weapon and be pretty effective if you made a builder on it. I'll probably try to make a builder on it because this weapon, just how it feels to use, has always been really good, even though the power hasn't been there. Because it still is a laser, and then as you're shooting, it gets faster and faster. It's almost like a little SMG minigun. So it is really fun to actually use. Um, so hopefully there's a build for it. Then just getting more magazine, like I have 73 right now, is also really fun. So next up, we have the Lullaby, um, or what is it? The Sweet Dreams normally have the Lullaby skin on. It's the same thing. Um, it has really crazy damage still, even though it's a shotgun, so it's not really going to be that useful, maybe besides one-shotting a PvP. But its attachment side has three, 50% accuracy on the site. Don't kind of kind of feels weird um speed loader 50 percent reload speed and the 25 percent optimal range the optimal range is probably the biggest um addition to this the other two aren't really that great the reload speed's all right um and it's still a shotgun so i can barely even hit the back target super effectively um but i i still don't think this thing just because it's a shotgun is really going to be used that much in pve or anything like that i mean the damage at the range isn't actually terrible for like a shotgun or something um but i don't think besides pvp this is really going to be used um i know there's kind of some like really high burst damage pvp builds for shotguns maybe this will be used for that now because it has some higher range um but besides that it's really not going to be used in pve ever um i guess maybe if you're using lmg the evasive um holstered a talent um what's well, not a holster but it still works for whatever reason um when holstered but with the melee damage shotguns still aren't that useful in pve at all maybe pvp i guess um so next up we have the pestilence which got i think close to a double like they pretty much close to double the damage on this, if I'm correct. Um, and the RPM got increased because of the mod 10% fire rate, which is pretty decent. Um, then we have 20% weapon handling, which just makes it, you know, handling a lot better. As I said, weapon handling is accuracy and stability. And then we got 25% stability, which on an LMG that, you know, you're getting more accurate as you're firing isn't that needed but it's still a pretty accurate weapon and the damage isn't actually too bad on this thing now um i don't think it's ever going to be really used over you know other lmgs but the damage is not anything terrible this isn't an lmg build i could definitely probably get this thing to a million dps with just a few lmg talents um so it's not that great it's just straight dps um, but the attachments or the talents may make this thing useful. Um, 
because of the increased damage and fire rate, which is basically just killing stuff. Um, I don't actually remember if this got buffed for the percent damage. So basically what the talents do, after hitting the same target 10 times, it's affected with a plague. And whenever an enemy with the plague is killed, it leaves a cloud that for 10 seconds deals 400% weapon damage per second to everything in it. Um, this debuff reduces healing received by 50% for 10 seconds. And whenever an enemy with pestilence is down, they are instantly killed. Um, so basically... The thing in PvP would be you hit him 10 times, you kill him, um, and it should instantly kill anyone because they're then infected with the plague, um, or they're infected with pestilence, so it should be killing everyone when they're instantly downed, which doesn't make it that great in PvP, but 400% weapon damage per second is pretty insane i don't actually remember i thought this wasn't that high before but this weapon with the if i'm not mistaken like almost double damage it may be useful um having it as a weapon that you have equipped or using it on bigger targets hitting them a bunch then switching to a main weapon killing them and then everything takes a bunch of damage um for 10 seconds so maybe maybe as some secondary secondary switching weapon um it definitely has a really unique effect but overall i don't think it's going to be a main hand weapon um so now we have the sniper rifle nemesis which was probably the only weapon that could have a pretty clear use as a main hand weapon like i just did a challenging um invaded mission and one shot the end boss with this without even having one of the talents that um increases more damage to it so it still does really high damage and the mods for nemesis actually just increase the damage by quite a bit 35 percent headshot damage increase pretty big 10 percent reload speed um which is always nice critical damage 15 percent, which is pretty big damage increase and 15 percent damage to elites pretty big damage increase so this thing just has some massive damage increases um overall and basically with the talents too, I can actually show you. So once you aim at something for a while, it'll get tagged like that. And for every bit, second, something like that, when it's tagged, it does more damage. Then the other talent is your, you charge up shots to do more damage. And as you can see there, I did 2.9 million damage on one hit, which is pretty crazy. You can definitely do a lot more than that. Um, so this thing's still going to be used. It just got buffed, basically. It didn't get damage buff. Um technically just the damage stat buff but it got pretty big damage increases for everything on this you know 35 percent headshot damage 50 percent critical wood damage and 50 percent damage to elites i don't think that was even a crit right there so you know a crit would just do a lot more damage but this thing's still going to be used can still be used as a main hand weapon um it's pretty much been that way since it came out and it's probably still going to be one of the best holstered talents because of the headshot damage um i definitely still want to do a you know insane just one shot build with this especially with the more damage now and just see how big of hits i can actually get um i don't have the desert eagle the exotic pistol i don't know how good that's ever gonna be because it's just kind of you know a weird pistol um i never even got it because i didn't think there was a use for it ever and it was something that was kind of annoying to get so if you want to check that out check that out for yourself it also got mod changes and damage increase as well everything got damage increase besides nemesis but enough rambling that's all this stuff all the changes for the new exotics subscribe if you want to see more division 2 content leave a like if you like the video leave a comment down below what you think about division 2 as a whole what you think about all the exotic changes do you think any of these weapons are going to be good main hand weapons are you testing out any builds with any of these exotics and thanks for watching